pound for pound, hot hatchbacks probably offered the most fun on four wheels that sensible money can buy. And these three are the best of a currently very good bunch. But which is quickest around our favourite circuit at Lando in South Wales? The new Renault Sport Megane RS, tested here with the optional cup chassis, the unexpectedly excellent Hyundai i30N performance, or the just plain brilliant new Honda Civic Type R? Renault first, let's find out. So the Megane RS, the new Megane RS. Interesting car this because it's got four wheel steering. It's got this, well not the same, but a very similar turbocharged engine in it with 276 horsepower. This one's got the cup chassis, which gives you 10% stiffer springs, slightly lighter, better brakes. <laughs> Fairly trick, but not super trick Bridgestone tires. And 1,407 kilograms worth of fr typically French hot hatch. There's a couple of things I'm not quite sure about with the Megane though. One is its weight. It does feel quite heavy. The other thing is this gearbox. It's just not that great for doing this kind of stuff. It's all right when you're just poodling about. But anyway, our lap starts here. See, even there, just trying to get third as quickly as possible. Doesn't quite like it for Megane. And into this back corner, you can feel the four wheel steering doing its thing which is great, but then it gets to a point where it can't really do much more and then the nose just starts to wash wide. But anyway, the brakes are pretty good, but that, that downshift from fourth to third is not particularly clean. And through here, through this tight bit, you just have to be patient to manage the weight. It's in RS mode with all the traction turned off, gonna nibble a bit of grass here out onto the back straight. Lap ends there. So the time, all right, 47.1. That's good. The new Megane RS is fast, yes, but not unbeatably so. Next up then is the Hyundai. Would it be quicker or slower than the more expensive Renault Sport? I love the i30N just because it's such a surprising car. You just do not expect a car with a Hyundai badge on it to be this sharp and this quick and this well sorted for track work. Obviously I'm in N mode. Obviously I've got everything switched off. My God, it feels firm down here. <laughs> this is the full beans one with the performance pack, which means you get the E-diff and a bit more poke. 271 horsepower. Not just as much as the Megane, but what you do get is this lovely auto blip downshift, which does make a difference. I mean, it sounds like a bit of a gimmick, but on a track when you're absolutely right up against it, trying to get squeeze everything out of it, that auto downshift makes a, it's just, it's lovely. It really works. Anyway, that starts there. Stops well, stops better than the Megane, I think. The i30. Although it's heavier by a, what about 15, 20 kilograms. I actually think it feels a bit lighter on the move. And it feels flipping quick in a straight line. Turns into the slow stuff nicely. Yep. It's definitely better than the Megane through here. And this is where a lot of the lap time is because you lose your lap time in the slow stuff. Nibble the grass, but I'm keeping my foot absolutely on it. So the lap stops there and the lap time, as it feels it, is a tiny bit quicker than the Megane. 46.8 rather than 47.1. That the Hyundai beat the Megane RS really was quite some surprise. But could it also fend off the mighty Civic Type R as well? Mm, let's see. It's rude, the Civic Type R. 
this new Civic Type R. I mean, the moment you get in it, the moment you start moving in it, you just think, hmm, this is a whole different ball game from the rest of them. And the thing is about this one, it has this lovely, firm, controlled, but subtle ride quality to it, which is, I've done a couple of practice laps. It allows you to muller these curbs in a way that you absolutely just can't in the Megane or the Hyundai. And it has the not a small matter of 316 bhp, so a lot more power, and it weighs less. So frankly, the other two haven't got a chance. But the thing is, what I want to find out is just how much quicker. I reckon, well I mean subjectively it feels as if it's going to be about a second quicker, at least. Which is a huge amount around this track. The other thing is this gearbox just works brilliantly, as does the front end, as does everything about the Civic Type R. Right, the lap starts there. Awesome brakes. You, it just means you can commit in the Civic in a way that would just throw you off the track in the others. <laughs> oh my goodness me, it feels pretty wild though, I tell you. Oh, that's just incredible through there. The way it changes direction. And yet the traction it's got as well. Fantastic gearbox. My God. I'm not sure this stops there. The lap time, <laughs> the lap time is 45.8 seconds. I'm getting the giggles. Um, that's a second quicker than the Hyundai. And very nearly a second and a half quicker than the Renault. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it, co <laughs> it costs more money, the Civic, but it's worth every penny. This thing is so fast, and yet it's so much fun as well, as you might be able to tell. What a vehicle. So in a nutshell, the Megane RS, though decent, was actually a bit of a disappointment at Landau. The Hyundai, on the other hand, was surprisingly rapid, and the Honda, well, it just blitzed them both. It's some car is the new Civic Type R. For the time being indeed, it is the undisputed king of the hill among pop hatchbacks. And to be honest, I don't really see that changing anytime soon. Click on the video windows to watch a track test of the previous Civic Type R against its rivals or a first drive of the new Mercedes A35 AMG. Click on the play icon to watch our latest video or on our logo to subscribe.